In this video, I want to explore the environmental effects of climate change on the environment. And there's a lot of content, so I'm going to try and speed through it as much as I can. So let's start off with the positive ice um, albedo feedback effect. Now, I've talked about this in my earlier um, videos, that's why I started with it. We'll just do a quick recap. All we need to know is this effect is basically accelerating and it's working like a catalyst to increase further climatic change. Then we have uh, we have effects that we don't really know whether they're going to be good or bad. So for example, the spark um sorry, yeah, the spruce bark beetle. Now this is a new species that's come in the Arctic because of its warmer um, you know, uh, conditions and we don't know whether this is a good thing or a bad thing because they can spread disease, create new food, food chains, they will compete with other species for food chains which are maybe finding it hard to adapt anyway because of the climatic change. So we don't know, we're still unsure of the long-term impacts of um, this effect whereas we know that some effects are positive and that's for example agricultural yield now we can farm for longer in the arctic now because um you know it's it's warmer for a longer period of time so inuits can actually get more food out of it there are other positive effects but those tend to be more socio-economic and i just want to look at the environmental impacts which are 90 percent or more negative so now let's look at the negatives we have firstly unsurprisingly the negative multiplier effect so basically as it warms up the sea um, w becomes warmer as well and the marine plants which uh, live in them they cannot cope with these conditions and many of them die off so there's a decreased number of them now this has a negative multiplier effect because the small fish that eat these will also reduce the number because it's only limited food it's like a food chain and then the large fish or the seals which eat these small fish will also decrease in size because there are there is limited food and this negative multiplier effect goes on it affects polar bears and actually even affects the Inuits because they eat things like seals and fish so it's affecting them and their fishing career except that's more socio-economic I'm talking about the food change in terms of the environment so there are negative effects now polar bears, uh, polar bears particularly are in trouble because not just are they affected through the negative multiplier effect, we also have um, two other separate conditions which can lead to the extinction of them, many scientists claim. So for example, their hunting season is decreased. So when it comes springtime, polar bears like to hunt for food. But what's happened is because ice melted for longer, they don't have the space to, you know, go out there and hunt. So that means they're actually having less food, not just because the negative multiplier effect, but because their habitat is basically diminishing. So Hudson Bay, for example, now that has like 450 residents, I think. It is now ice free for more than three weeks than it was in 1985 so you know that's like one whole month you know it's extra time and it's really adversely affecting polar bears now another reason why scientists fear the extinction of the polar bear is because during springtime females build up like female polar bears they build up body fat now remember it's particularly important that it's female because they are the ones that carry the Actually, I'm not sure whether they carry the baby. I'll get back to you on that one. I'll write a side note. But it's per so there's females who build up the body fat. And um, because the ice uh, is melting for longer periods of time and much quicker, the females are actually losing on average 80 kilograms of, um, you know, whatever body fat they made because it's warmer for longer. This is making them susceptible to diseases and the ability to reduce and feed their offspring is also decreasing. So as the number of polar bears is diminishing because of these three factors, we are basically likely to see their extinction is what the point of this is. The tree line, now this is um, the edge of the habitat where the trees are in the Arctic. This is moved north, so basically it's reducing because the ice is melting. 
and um, yeah basically so that's going to have effect on the environment in which species and everything can live in how the ecosystem integrates and works now tundra ecosystems are ecosystems which are designed to withstand extreme cold conditions now they're rare and they're precious because we don't see these kind of uh, ecosystems anywhere else well we might see them in the antarctica or greenland but there's not many of these kind of places in the world so they're very rare and they're precious and they're of importance for us to study for us to understand Now these are being lost because of um the warming of uh, you know the oceans so these kind of conditions are going and we're probably going to get more kind of um, ecosystems of warmer conditions which we already see now melting permafrost is permanently frozen land now this is thawing a uh, thawing out and melting well, now what's significant about this is just like in the positive albedo effect methane is being released and methane is a greenhouse gas and enhancing greenhouse gas so again this works like a catalyst that you know we spur off the heating in the first place this spurs off the permafrost thawing out but then naturally more methane is released and basically we've you know furthered and made climatic change even more significant so that's a problem forest fires are another problem you might think hey those happened in the 2003 heat wave forest fires in the arctic well you know bore uh, boreal forests which are coniferous they su they are suffering with more um kind of forest fire now this happens in the arctic russia regions which is in the arctic circle but the regions of russia and um, they're suffering with more f um, forest fires because it's just warmer conditions and this is damaging you know these um, ecosystems and you can imagine this affects the wildlife this affects a range of things so those were my quick um, factors on um, impacts on the arctic of climatic change on my blog I've actually made a table showing these um, impacts so please visit my blog please rate comment and support thank you so much for watching